Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 9.2.1. Again, this is a slightly new build. So before it was 13D15, now it's 13D20, and I'll show you that here. You can see this is build 13D15, and the reason I don't have 13D20 is because this error specifically affects those that had their screens replaced, and that means they got a new Touch ID button. So if you had your screen replaced from a third-party person other than Apple, so you went to one of those kiosks in the mall or something like that, they replaced the Touch ID, and the reason it didn't work and what would happen to people after they did the last update, the 9.2.1 update, is when they turned on their phone, booted it up afterwards, they'd get an error that said error 53, and it essentially bricked their phone. Their phone wouldn't work, you couldn't reboot it, you couldn't restore it, anything like that. And the reason behind that was because this sensor here reads your fingerprint and talks specifically to a chip that Apple calls the Secure Enclave. And when Apple replaces the screen in the store, they actually have to resync this Touch ID button to that Secure Enclave. Now what happened was, is they didn't account for people replacing them at third, count, uh, third party places, and so it bricked the phone. So now what this update does is allow you, allows you to restore the phone via iTunes to get your phone back. And once you get your phone back, the Touch ID will be disabled unless you have an Apple display. And that's so that no one can get your fingerprint. It will only talk to that particular chip. So Apple syncs those to make, sure, to make sure no one can steal your fingerprint, basically. Now, the way they should have handled it from the beginning was just to disable the Touch ID sensor if it's an aftermarket one. But unfortunately, they didn't account for that affecting the public, apparently. So this specifically affects it. So if you want this update and your phone is bricked, you have to plug into iTunes using your lightning cable and then just do a restore to 9.2.1. Otherwise, there's zero changes other than that. There's that whole date bug that people were, were having if they set it to, I believe it's June or July 1st, 1970. If they set it to that and rebooted, it would also brick the phone. And some people were able to get it back. And I don't know if this fixes it. There hasn't, hasn't been any mention. I'm not going to try it. So if, if you know for sure it fixes it, let me know in the comments below. So basically 9.2.1 was released again to fix specifically errors with replaced home screens that were shattered and have a new Touch ID. Other than that, when Apple receives that error after they sync and it doesn't work, they just give you a new phone in the Apple Store. So that's it, and that's all there is in this update. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.